What's going on, everybody? It is your boy, Dylan Matthews, back at it again with another hometown take. Today, I'm talking about the Atlanta Hawks. Hey, y'all, we got drama on drama on drama. And I was at the game last night, and we lost. Oh, we, we going to get into it. But before we do that, you know we gotta handle some business first. So make sure you like this video, comment your thoughts, subscribe to the channel. Check out the link down below. Down below. Ooh, ooh. To buy me a coffee to help fuel this channel, help fuel the Atlanta Hawks to some more wins. Also, make sure you turn on notification bells as well so you don't miss a single video or a single live stream. You know what's popping, you know what's happening. All right, y'all, we got a lot to get into. So make sure y'all do all that and we're gonna get into it right now you dig all right so let's get into the video <clears throat> so oh, i've been meaning to do this video for a few days now but I haven't gotten around to it but the hawks got some drama going on y'all some hot grade a drama so let's start off from the top <clears throat> we got to give kudos to hawks fan tv the the twitter account so you know hawks fan tv they were the first to report on this and they got it right so i ain't even mad at them popping the e on twitter because they deserve to anywho excuse me hawks fan tv didn't need that commentary simone thank you excuse me hawks fan tv they originally tweeted let me go ahead and go to them their original tweet all right so four days ago hawks fan tv they tweeted quote spoke spoke to a person close to the situation and have learned that a heated argument between a player and Nate McMillan took place at morning shoot around earlier today. Seems like player or players have vocalized their discontent about Nate McMillan to the front office. Ooh. All right. So again, Hawks fan TV, you know, was a smaller account. Obviously they're probably growing now, but definitely was a smaller account. And so, you know, we weren't sure how, how viable this information was, how credible this information was, and how credible Hawks Fan TV was. Well, now we done found out they were pretty done credible this time because later on in the day, later on that night, we found out Trey Young showed up on the injury report, and Trey Young actually showed up on their injury report after that morning shoot around Hawks Fan TV was talking about. So after that morning shoot around, Trey Young showed up on the injury report with shoulder soreness. So you sticking with me? There was a there was an argument between Nate McMillan and player or players, and then after that morning shoot around where there was an argument between player or players with Nate McMillan, Trey Young showed up on the injury report. Okay, still not seeming like a huge deal right now, but let's continue the story. Then after that, Denver Nuggets game comes up, starts creeping up. We're getting closer and closer to the game. And then Trey Young is ruled out of the Denver Nuggets game with that said shoulder soreness. Okay, so there's an argument. Trey Young shows up on the injury report after that morning shooting around where there was an argument. And then Trey Young is out of the Denver Nuggets game. And then Trey Young is not even in State Farm Arena that night. So now some dots are starting to connect. Okay. Morning shoot around. There's an argument between Nate McMillan and a player. After that morning shoot around with the argument, Trey Young is put on the injury report with shoulder soreness. Trey Young is then listed out later on that day, out of the Denver Nuggets game with that shoulder soreness, and he's not even in the arena. Hmm. Kowinky dink? I think not. So after all that, we find we do find out Hawks fan TV was right. The argument was between Nate McMillan and Trey Young. Mm, that's a spicy meatball. I mean, what's going on? I mean, what 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 y'all arguing for? What y'all arguing about? So that's what we wanted to know next. Okay, it was between Nate McMillan and Trey Young. What was the disagreement for? What was the heated exchange and the miscommunication that Trey Young will later call it? What was that all about? Well, apparently. Trey Young does, in fact, have a shoulder injury or, you know, is battling shoulder discomfort, shoulder injury, what have you. So with that, he suffered that in the Orlando game, by the way. Apparently, I guess. I don't know. Anywho, um, Trey Young wanted to just treat his shoulder leading up to the Denver game. He wanted to play in the Denver game, but he just wanted to do treatment leading up to the game. He did not want to participate in morning shoot around. Nate McMillan wanted Trey Young to participate in morning shoot around. So 
Nate and Trey, they were talking it out. And basically, Nate said, you either participate in shoot around and you play tonight like regular, or you come off the bench if you just want to do treatment. Two choices. Do morning shoot around like usual, play like usual, or if you want to just do treatment through shoot around, not come to shoot around, you come off the bench. Mm. Dang. <laughs> Nate Miller got some cojones on him talking to a star player, franchise player like that. Sheesh. I kind of respect it, but, you know, I, I feel a way about it, too, and I'll get into that in a second. Let me finish the story first. So, Trey Young's like, oh, word? Okay. Well, deuces, man. I ain't showing up to the arena tonight. And that's why Trey Young wasn't at the game. And so this has all now been reported and confirmed by, and, you know, Trey Young has spoke on it. And this has all been, you know, reported and confirmed by uh, Shams and all that good stuff. So, y'all, the drama. So to quickly interject on this story, I understand that Nate McMillan is trying to hold everybody accountable. He's not really trying to give special treatment to everybody. and He's, you know, maybe somewhat trying to send a message. Well, Nate. That's Trey Young, dude. Yeah, come on, coach. That's Trey Young. It's one thing if, you know, that's Justin Holiday. You want Justin Holiday to be at morning shoot around. And you're telling Justin Holiday either, you know, come to uh come to, you know, shoot around or you coming off. I mean, he usually come off the bench anyway. But still, like, there's a difference. That's your franchise player. And then two, what do we need to do? What does Trey Young need to be at morning shoot around for? Like, I don't know what happens in morning shoot around, but is it really that important to where you're either saying he it comes to morning shooter he's coming off the bench is it really that serious like are y'all were y'all in, implementing a new offense at morning shoot around that day like what's up why was morning shoot around that important if if it's me and the way i'm thinking about it morning shoot around can't be that important like is he really missing anything and then again that is your star player that is trey young if he just wants to treat his shoulder let him treat his shoulder now like Maybe Nate McMillan thought Trey was just trying to, you know, he wasn't that hurt and he was trying to find a way out of shoot around and maybe be lazy. I don't know. But again, if Trey Young said he just want to do treatment, let Trey Young just do treatment. Let him just do treatment. Come on, man. So I, I think Nate McMillan maybe made too big of a deal out of this. And again, I understand somewhat where he's coming from. Like, OK, you, you, you don't want to show any favoritism, I guess. You know, you don't want to seem like there's any special treatment going on. But these players know. Justin Holiday, Aaron Holiday, Vic Krejci, they know they ain't on the same level as Trey. They know they ain't getting the same treatment as Trey. They know that. They grown man. They know what's up. They know what's up. So I don't even think that should be a thing they should be worried about, honestly. So maybe he was trying to send a message to like the other guys, the other, the other big players, you know, like, I don't know. But man. I really can't explain it. I think Nate McMillan was taking the situation too far. I think he was maybe trying to, you know, do too much of a power struggle there. I'm not sure. I I don't know what they what they had it on, what what they had going on, but that to me seems a little ridiculous. Um hopefully they have it figured out by now. Trey Young did comment on it. Um if you want to see what he said go follow me at underscore dylan matthews i retweeted it so you can go see the video there you've probably seen the video already everywhere else um i will show you um a shout out to pat benson jr he did put out the full tweet of what shams reported and uh what shams put out when he put an article out about it and i will re read that to you guys here so shams did say that uh, let me find it here so um, while Young re was receiving treatment, this was Sam, Sham said in his article, quote, while Young was receiving treatment on his right shoulder, sources say Nate McMillan asked him whether he would participate in shoot around, receive treatment during walkthrough and play in the game against the Nuggets. But Young made it clear that he wanted to focus solely on his treatment while missing shoot around and deciding later in the day whether he would play. The approach, however, was not McMillan approved. Since the face of the Hawks franchise was deciding not to take part in shoot around, McMillan ultimately presented him with two options for that night's game. Sources said, play off the bench or do not show up to the arena. Young responded by saying he would not be playing against the Nuggets and the team ruled him out while citing right shoulder soreness. Um, and McMillan told reporters on Sunday, Young did not play on Friday night due to a miscommunication. Young practiced fully on Sunday and will return. Obviously, he did return on Monday against the, against Oklahoma City. 
There is no dis disciplinary action given by the team to Young in the aftermath of the situation. Sources said for the Hawks, this issue is a microcosm of the tension that exists among Young, McMillan, and the locker room. The Hawks have had multiple team meetings early this season to resolve various conflict sources with knowledge of the situation set. Now, Sham also uh, was on TV and he did a... Um, he had a little snippet and he commented on the situation. I'll let you hear that now. Here's what Shams had to say. So Nate McMillan has a policy, which, you know, as Chandler probably knows, it's a common one for coaches. It can be common where he wants players that play to be present at shoot around. And Trey Young was dealing with a with shoulder injury. He decided that he wanted to essentially not participate in shoot around, decided uh, not to participate. And he wanted to focus <laughs> on treatment. And as the day went on, he was given two options to either play and come off the bench, I'm told, or just not show up to the arena at all. Um, and as the day went on, this is a Hawks team that's ravaged with injuries. John Collins, DeAndre Hunter, they have a few guys out. I, I believe Trey Young actually wanted to play, but when he was faced with these options, he chose not to show up to the arena. Um, and this is really a microcosm of the tension that's existed that I've heard throughout this Hawks team. When you look at from the coaching staff and, and Nate McMillan, their star and Trey Young, uh, and, and really the locker room at large. And right now, you know, this is a unique situation because you have a star player who did not play in a game and did not show up to the game, show up to the arena um, due to an exchange with, an head, with his head coach. And so it's gonna be on Nate McMillan and Trey Young to right the ship because from what I'm told, Nate McMillan's job is safe. He's not going anywhere. So uh, Trey Young, he was he, his strained relationship with Lloyd Pierce had something to do with him being out. I don't think the same liberty is going to be given right now with Nate McMillan. He is good. All right. So woo, he, he thinks Nate McMillan is safe. You know, if it, if it comes down between Trey Young and Nate McMillan, I got to think Nate McMillan probably gets the boot. But we'll see. Shams believes that, uh, according to his source, Nate McMillan is safe, though. So I don't know. And... Before I continue on to tell you what Kendrick Perkins said, I don't think Trey Young is a coach killer or just disagrees with every single coach. Lloyd Pierce was fired because Lloyd Pierce wasn't good. Now, I know him and Trey Young didn't have the best um, relationship either, but Lloyd Pierce just wasn't that good coach to me. It's, there's a reason why he hasn't been at, being able to be a head coach anywhere else yet. He's not that good of a head coach. I mean, no shade, just truth. But I don't want to call Trey Young a coach killer because I don't think that's what he is. And plus, Nate McMillan just still has his job, and Shams believe his job is safe. All right, before we uh, move on to how the Oklahoma City game went, I do want to go over what Kendrick Perkins said in a tweet. He said, quote, what's going on in Atlanta? Franchise players getting treated like the 14th man. Players linking info to the media on their own teammates. Tomorrow can't come fast enough. He did a little hmm, thinking emoji, and he said, carry on, unquote. So, Kendrick has some things to say. Now, I got to go look up what he said. I'm not sure what he said. I guess he said something on NBA Today or First Take, but we got to look that up and see. But let's move on to the Oklahoma City game because, oh, that shouldn't have been a game. We lost neither. All right, y'all. So I got to wrap this quick because I'm running out of time on the cam. You feel me? But anywho, um, who's leaking info? Kendrick said we got players leaking info. What mole we got in the locker room? Uh -uh, we got to fix that. So we got to find out who this mole is. Nate and Trey got to get their ish together. They got to work their eat out because, look, I'm tired of having all these coaching changes. I like Nate, but we 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 can't be doing this beef and stuff no more. I need everybody to get along. You know what I'm saying? So they got to figure that out, point blank, period. And, again, in my opinion, you know, from what I'm hearing, it sounds like Nate was doing too much, trying to get Trey to participate and shoot around when he just wanted shoulder treatment. Like, it didn't seem that deep to me. But anywho, let's talk about this game real quick before we wrap this thing up. So, Hawks lose 121 to 114. Really, we just folded in the fourth quarter, y'all. I was at the game, my first Hawks game in the year. I had a good time. Um, but they just folded in the fourth quarter. They didn't really get, you know, out outdone in any uh, stats. Like, rebounding, it was fine. We won the offensive rebounding and the rebounding battle. They had one more assist than us. We only had two more total turnovers. We had nine more points off of turnovers than they did. Um, the fast break points were close. Points in the paint were close. So they didn't really outplay us. We just folded in the fourth quarter. Shea, uh, Shai, Gilgis Alexander, he went pretty crazy. He had 35. Trey DeJounte 
were good. Well, Trey's shooting wasn't very good. That's one thing. He missed a lot of easy shots last night, so that kind of hurt us for sure. Bogey had a nice 17 off the point, uh, bench. He had five uh, threes. DeJounte was good, 24 points, 3 of 5 from 3, 20, 10 to 21 from the field. But Trey, 6 of 19 from the field, only 1 of 7 from 3, 23 points. That hurt us. Jalen Johnson wasn't very good, only 7 points. He did have 9 rebounds. So, you know, eh, just, just got outplayed in the fourth quarter. We got to figure that out, too, because we've had too many – Second half, double-digit leads, and we end up losing those games. We have each of the last four losses we've had. We've had double-digit leads, I believe, in the fourth quarter, too. So we got to figure that out. But anyway, y'all, like this video, comment your thoughts, subscribe to the channel. Let me know how you feel about the drama. And until I talk to you guys next time, peace.